Hey family and friends, welcome back to my channel. So here's part two of the Privacy Hedge project I'm working on. So I wanted to show you one of the issues I have, which is having privacy in my backyard. As you can see, you can look at my TV and watch a movie right along with me. I have five homes surrounding my home. Let's just go ahead and jump right into this. So this is my landscaper who has just arrived at my home to start getting these trees installed. I am so excited to get this project on the road. So I've already previously flagged my entire yard and where I want to put the trees. You want to make sure that your trees are at least three to four feet apart, sometimes more, sometimes closer, depending on how much privacy you want. So I did stage mine almost about four feet apart for each of these trees. So we're going to get them on tagged and get this going. Now this back area, the back fence will be shifted back to my property line. So we started doing the project on the right and the left side of the yard. And that's what you can see here. They started removing the grass and trying to kind of mark things in place and did the same thing on the left side. Now I like to get a window view. So I did come inside to kind of see what's going to look like. All right, time to get these babies in the ground. So digging got on the row, and so I am just loving how these are looking. I know we're not done yet, but I'm so excited that I'm finally getting this privacy done. I pray these trees grow really nicely and give me that privacy I need in my backyard space. So a little bit of information about this tree. Now they're known as Emerald Green Arborvitae tree. When I got them, they were for $54.98 each, but because I was buying bulk, when you buy at least 20 or more trees, you get a price marked down. So I purchased them for $43.98. That was actually a great deal for me, so that's why I got so many, because I did need a lot. So it was a blessing to find them on sale. Now the other thing is, you wanna keep the moisture in the ground with this tree and make sure that they are watered as often as possible. And then after that first year, you can water them twice a week. Another thing is they do grow up to 15 feet in height and you want to be planting them at least four feet apart, sometimes closer if need be, or further away depending on the look that you want in your space. And then fertilization is recommended in the spring and the summer. So I know y'all probably think I'm losing it, but I like to come indoors to see what it looks like from the inside of my home. So this is the opposite side of my house. I did do a window view on the other side. So I wanted to come in and see what this part looks like. Back outside, as you can see, my brown fence does not extend all the way down on the right side of my backyard. So I did leave a little bit of spacing behind the trees just in case I get that project going. The construction company can come in and have enough space to work. I do plan to do an upgrade to my deck and my fence. And also when I do plan to trim these trees, I have enough space to go behind. I feel like I gave it too much spacing. I don't know, you guys let me know, but then again, I can get the trees pushed back when need be, but that's why I did this. That way we can work around if need be for the trees or for the fence and decking project. All right, y'all, so don't pay attention to my grass. That's a different project on its own. I have to start doing some lawn care. And I'm also new at all these stuff, so comment down below. Let me know. Give me some suggestions. I know I have some weeds in here, and I just have to do a lot of landscaping and work on my yard because I want it to be beautiful and a space that I can enjoy. All right, trees are now planted in on this side of my yard. It's looking beautiful so far. I know it's still a lot of different things to do, and I just love the look so far. The only thing I am so upset about is that I could have bought these trees a little bit taller, but listen, all that money, I would have had to spend thousands and thousands of dollars. Already, this was quite expensive because I had to buy almost 50 trees, but I think it's going to be a great look. Please do not pay attention to the right side of my flower bed. 
that is a project in the making a video for another day but i love the look of this tree i think they're going to be beautiful they're going to give me the space that i need in reference to privacy and the space that i need to enjoy my backyard i also have my lattice here under my deck that i have to get reinforced We also had some leftover trees and I do plan to do some sort of landscaping in my front area. So comment down below if you would like to see that. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and show your support that you're loving this content so I can go ahead and work on getting that video out to you guys. Alright y'all, so now this is the back area of my yard. So this is where we're going to be pushing the fence line further back to my property line. Guys, I'm so sorry about the sunlight view. I know sometimes you're seeing the glare with this video footage. I tried my best to get as much as I can and blur some parts that I need to blur out. So bear with me on this video, y'all. So you can see a lot of the post has been removed and also we're probably going to need an additional few feet of additional fence that will be painted and added to this due to the pushback. So that's what we're doing right here. They are currently pushing those back, lining things up. And they're going to install the post back in and get the fence back up and then start the installation of the trees. All right, y'all, so yes, I had to go upstairs to my bedroom to look at it from another angle. Yes, I'm that kind of girl. Wanted to see what it's going to look like and also how much yard space I have. So I'm so happy that I did push this back as much as I can to my fence line. And then also if you pay attention to your further left hand side of the screen, you can see the gap that I have. So that's just an additional few feet that I got, which I'm so happy about because I can still get my privacy and have a lot of space to do other projects in my yard. Okay, at this point, they're installing the last section of the fence. They're going to be connecting it to the post. And once that's done, then the remaining space gap that occurred due to the pushing back of my fence, they're going to go ahead and paint the new additional fence piece and attach that 
to the rest of the gap that you have open. Alright, and now they're going to start doing the dig in for the back portion of the tree installment. So I'm so excited. We're almost there, guys. So just visualize this entire backyard space, the five houses that surround my home and the trees, the neighbors right behind me, they have trees, something similar to what I'm getting installed and it's pretty tall. So just imagine this space gap guys and how much privacy this trees is going to give me in my space with these five homes. Back outside, they have started doing the mulching and this is looking gorgeous, y'all. I'm so happy that I thought of this landscaping for my backyard. It's still a lot of work to do, a work in progress. Let me know what you think. I didn't want to get the red color mulch because depending on what I am doing with my fence and the rest of the house, I wanted to keep it kind of dark so that if I do change my fence to white all the way across is going to blend in and streamline everything but this is what it's currently looking like and i love it now i am going to try my best to pray over these trees pray they start growing taller and start giving me that privacy i'll let you know how things are going with them and their growth progression all right y'all hope you enjoyed this video hope you found it to be helpful don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you on the next one